Namaste guys, I'm back again and I'm going to do a very uh, quick show and tell of um, all the things that I'm going to be taking along with me on my trip to, um, to do my journaling in and the first thing that I have is this, uh, this is a Corjo travel bag and this holds a lot of my supplies and this is basically the, the spine of my um, travel journaling. So let's just start here. In here I have a ton of um, tapes and I did not go overboard with them. Um, some washi and some these are some fabric tapes and they are, these are sticky as well and some um, these are laser cut uh, cello tapes and that's pretty as well so I just chose a couple of them because I don't like to use too much washi in my layouts um, so I've just taken these and I intend to buy some there as well and in here are some stickers that I chose from my collection my stash I keep I have a weakness for stickers so whenever I see some that I like I just have to have them so these are for maybe for um, layouts for breakfast and lunch these are some of the dome stickers and I don't know which collection they are from sorry but um, these are just random stickers I just took them off from the packaging to reduce the bulk and I have some rhinestones and these are sticky back and I've already cut them between uh, uh, the gems so that I can just pluck them out and glue them down and I, this is from a different uh, pack as you can tell so I peel that off um, from there and I just added them here because I won't be needing too many of these I'm probably going to use more of the black so that's that these are some uh, very pretty travel themed dome stickers and then just some random um, stickers that I have that I thought I might use a nice beach themed one and then these are some alphas and then I, as you can see I've used some of these but then I'm going to be finishing off the rest these are some um, photo corners I just love these hearts and this is the leftover from the dome stickers that I used uh, in my journal and again some hearts and stars so that's a that's all the stickers that I'm going to be taking with me and let me just pack them back in and then this is my Dymo uh, Dymo uh, tape I don't know what this I just know this is the Dymo, uh, Dymo label uh, creator so this I really love this it's teeny tiny it just fits in right there and then of course I have uh, a little uh, stapler with some golden colored staples in it because I decided and I um, I decided to use just the golden uh, um, pins in it and this is one of those stapleless staplers and I love this thing it and uh, it can double up as a puncher as well it does this really nice punch let me just show you and grab a sheet of so uh, suppose I do my journaling on here and if I don't punch all the way through, I can create a very nice torn um, edge. I'm not being very um, neat with this, but then if I do them all, and I, uh, if I line them up neatly, uh, they look pretty like torn off from a notebook, uh, the notebook edge uh, punch. So this is pretty tiny and it also double up, doubles up as a stapleless stapler when you use it like that and you have um, so it, I can use it to attach something without adding the bulk of pins and I just love that little device there and some of my favorite glue and it's the tiniest uh, tiniest bottle that I could find and I just flipped when I saw this it was, it was so tiny and it just fit right in into this pouch here and then over here I have these um, in these little uh, grooves I have some pencils for my sketching and this is a really good pencil marker this I can use it on my black cardstock as well and this that's what I thought was really amazing so I have uh, one in white and one in black then I have some Sakura Koi gray marker this is a brush uh, marker 
like that so just for some journaling and stuff and then I have a little bone folder and then I have my tiny metal ruler and of course I have some pens um, some good quality pens then I have a white uh, marker uh, with a really large tip so that goes right in and then in here I have all my journaling spots and papers so uh, first I'll show you this uh, this are some uh, color pencils from Derwent and these are really soft um, color pencils so I really love them to use on my sketches as you can see I had just done some couple of lines when I was doing my um, when I was showing you my journal so I am going to use these to color in and then these are just some punched out tags that I have and then this is again some um, post-it and I just love uh, this film strip style post-its so I just yanked a bunch of them from the pad and I'm going to take this along since the pad was really thick it was this thick so uh, again I have some little post-its that are travel themed those going there and again um, another of those notepads uh, that are a little bit Again, it's, this is travel theme. So I just picked out things randomly. And this is a punch, uh, not a punch. I printed out this on a uh, camera on the vellum and I'm going to be adding it in my album. So I have that in there as well. And then I have one pad uh, that has the single lines and the one and the checkered ones for journaling. So this is all of my journaling spot. And this closes in and I'm going to close it up later. And just let me quickly show you the rest of these things. I'm going to be taking along for my drawings some of this um, Bustro um, sketching and drawing paper. This is 200 GSM and it has about 25 sheets in it. And this is, uh, uh, sorry, this is 200 GSM, an A5 size sheet, and this is amazing paper. So that I'm going to use either for journaling and drawing as well. And then in here I have some of that, um, all the long things and the big things that I couldn't fit into my little pouch there some doilies and uh, the leftover pattern paper and some sticker sheets I'm not going to pull everything out and some flowers so uh, this I will obviously be leaving behind in my room and only be using them to finish the layout when I get back and last but not least this is what I'm going to have with me at all times this is uh, just a little pencil box and it's got um, lots of stuff in here and I'll just quickly show you. So it's got some of these um, stencil cum scales and I just love the fact that they have these edges, different edges on each scale. So I have the alphas and I also have the numbers and I have some shapes with the speech bubbles, um, the speech bubbles and the heart and stuff. And the little tiny arrow I love that and then I have some markers these are from signal these are signal uh, markers so I'm going to be taking two of the white ones just in case I run out and then I have another little stencil that I've uh, I've used uh, earlier as well and I really love this um, the size of this so uh, this is going in there as well uh, a pencil and eraser and of, of course some lead for the pencil and some more pens this is um, let's just see this is from pigma this is a brush marker and this is really beautiful for calligraphy and then i have a fine line marker 0.2 and this is for uh, doing the outlines on my drawings and this is a cd marker to write on top of brochures and uh, writing on the transparency that i've added and I have a little glue stick in here and a gel pen that's yellow in color I don't know if I'm going to be using that but then that's it so this is all of my stuff and I have my flight tonight and I hope you guys wish me luck and please uh, wish that I have a safe trip and I come back with a wonderful journal that I can come back and show you guys and um, inspire you some more thank you so much thanks for watching bye bye